Well, not only is it dark in this apartment, but it's about to rain outside. I had the blinds open, and there's a little light coming in. But um, I'm hungry. I'm going to give me a piece of chicken. I hope they have a little salad. A little salad to go on the side with it. Sometimes they're all the salad. Um, I need some fish. I think they might have fish. I might go ahead and get a piece of fish. Instead of fried chicken. But you know how that is. When you really want something savory. You really ain't think about health right now. But the chicken is all white chicken meat. It's all white chicken meat. So it has some nutrition value. But um, and then the salad is good too. They got a little pinch of sugar in it. And, uh, I think a little mayo. But it's still healthy overall. Um... I probably should be a little bit more strict. I probably would slim down if I was a little bit more strict. I bet you I don't wait on me. It's those little extra things like the little sugar and the little mayo. And the fact that the chicken is fried, even though it's all white meat chicken. I probably would slim down a little bit if I, if I would quit eating that little bit of things. Anyway, that's not what I was wanting to say. I wanted to say, I was thinking about this preacher, a local preacher. He writes this unbelievable poem. I want to get that book he wrote and, and read it online. He, he kind of funny. He should be a, a critically acclaimed writer. But because he kind of funny, you know what I'm saying? He, you know how people can be. Think, think you need him. He can't, you can't be blessed. You block your own blessing. You block your own blessing when we're evil. You stop over the flow of God in your life. But he, this book, I'm telling you, if you met him, you wouldn't believe he wrote that book. Unbelievable talent, man. Unbelievable talent and powerful writer. I'm going to go find that book. I want to read it online for, for, for the share. Oh, that made me think of one of his sermons about, um, he teaches a sermon. He taught a sermon about how you cannot have oral sex. Christians cannot have oral sex. Well, I had told you my opinion about oral sex. That's why I told you my opinion. My opinion is this. If you're passionate about somebody, it's going to be hard to stop you from kissing them all over their body. But if that's your belief, then, of course, you have to follow your heart. But I don't think you need oral sex. You know what I'm saying? When, when it comes to health, but how can you be healthy? You know what I'm saying? Who knows what is good health? You know, I think a woman... A good, healthy woman um, should be satisfying enough that you don't have to use your, your mouth. That's what I think. A good, healthy woman is satisfied enough that you don't have to use your mouth. Um, and that's my personal opinion. My personal, from experience over the years that I've learned, from my experience that I've learned over over time. But God is awesome. God is awesome. God is awesome. God is awesome. I, I consider myself healthy, and I believe it's because God is awesome. I believe that. But um, y'all want to get that book? I'm 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 sitting there talking about Reverend. I, it's a few people that know who I'm talking about, because it's it's not many local preachers that can write like he can. He is he is excellent critic. He's a national acclaimed. But so local people would know who I who I'm talking about. But he sit up there talking about how he don't use his mouth. I, I feel like you are passionate about somebody. Girl, you ought to see him with, with his wife. They call him the first lady. You ought to see him with the first lady child. I, I haven't seen him in a while. Times have changed drastically for whatever reason. So I really haven't seen him in a while. You ought to see him, child. He running around like a chicken with his head cut off, opening and closing the door. Yeah. Yeah, child. That's how I say. You know that way, but he gonna make me leave here and use his mouth the way he at. Every time you see he running, he running as fast as he can to grab the door open. <laughs> I ain't lying. I said you exaggerating. I kid you not. I kid you not. It's, it'd be like coming to America. He used to come to America when Eddie Murphy got out the car and the women was dropping the road. That's how he he jump up. He jump up every time she moved. Run fast, he can't. 
Like I said, there's it's no action. It's no passion action going on there. Yeah, I believe that. But anyway, but anyway, I want to get that book and read it. But I might ask, I might have to ask his permission. He might not want me to read since I didn't put his business out there. Ask his permission because um, some people just funny like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get the book. I, I, the reason I was thinking about his book because I was like, Lord, I wanna, uh, I don't wanna work at this this position. Um, I need to, but I need some income. And I was thinking I could write me some poems, but he was supposed to write something romantic and sensual and lustful. You know what I'm saying? Something that's not edifying and strengthening and building people up and inspiration. So I'm like. If I write something inspirational, the only thing I believe in this world that we live in, I don't believe in positive things. I believe in faith. So if I will be sung by faith, you know, so I might try to compile 30 or 40 poems about faith. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, and you a singer, a singer probably could think of something right away. You know what I'm saying? I can think of, I can think of 10 songs right now. That are insp- inspiring and, and positive. So I just, in my mind, just have to think that I'm writing a song. You know, I don't really, I, don't really, I, never, I do write, I, I do come up with romantic garbage quick, but that's because I, I don't know what it is, but I used to be a Barbara Cartland fan and a Harlequin fanatic. I did. I, I, I would, I would venture to say I have read. Hundreds of thousands of romantic books, Harlequin, Barbara Cartman. But, and the stupid, let me say what the stupid thing about it is all of her books are just a template. The girl is 18, a man is 40. She a virgin and he's experienced. And all they do is change the race and setting. You know, you might be in Paris, you might be in Venice, you might be in the Bahamas, you might be in London. Really, all they do is change. The, the location. <laughs> you know how stupid you gotta be to sit there and read a, a hundred damn books. That's the same damn books. All they did was change a few details. That was, that's what they did. That was a template. That was a template. But it might have made her rich. I don't know, because I read, I swear I sat my answer and read a hundred books, and it was all the damn same. She always 18, he always fought it. She a virgin of his kind. I'm like, what kind of bullshit is this? What kind of bullshit? I, I, I had to be on the number 125 when I realized, what kind of bullshit is this? And see, how stupid I was. Huh? I was on book number 125 when I realized this is some bullshit. 